Hey, how is everybody doing? Josh here, Fugitech. And we can no longer deny that digital banking has made a pretty large impact in the way we deal with everyday transactions. Whether it's paying for your monthly bills or depositing money from one account to another, online banking has gone from being just a premium novelty to something that is very essential to our day-to-day -day lives. Not only is it convenient, but it also means less exposure to you-know-what. Thankfully, BPI makes it easier to do all of this right from the comfort of your own home. If you already have a BPI online banking account, then that's good. But if you don't, here are the steps you need to take in order to open your own deposit account. First things first, you're going to want to download the BPI mobile app that's available for both Android and iOS. Next, go ahead and open the BPI mobile app. If you don't have an account yet, you'll see this yellow banner right in the middle that says open a new account. Go ahead and tap on that. Since this is our first time opening the app, the only option available is to create a bank account, so select that to proceed. A quick guide will then pop out letting you know all the steps you need to take. Before tapping on continue, make sure you have at least one of the following IDs below prepared. Next, once you've made sure that you are a Filipino citizen at least 18 years of age with a permanent address, you may now tap on Confirm and Continue. Then, make sure you read the data privacy statement, scroll down to the very bottom, and tick the box to continue to the next page. Now it's time to fill out a few more details such as your country code, mobile number, and your email address. And right below is a CAPTCHA for you to solve. You know, just in case you're a robot. But once you've made sure that you're not, you may then click on Confirm and Continue. You will then be asked to make sure if your mobile number is correct. Request for an OTP by tapping on Continue once more, wait a few seconds, and encode the PIN that you received via SMS. Please take note that the only thing available right now is the BPI Save Up digital product, but clients may choose if they want to have a BPI ePay MasterCard. Last but not least, the Terms and Conditions page will appear. Make sure you review them carefully and click on the I Agree button to continue. Next, type in your basic information such as your whole name, your mother's maiden name, your birthday, country, and the city of your birth. Once that's all filled out, you may then tap on Continue. Alright, so Here's the part where you need to verify your identification by uploading a photo of any of the Philippine government-issued IDs that we prepared earlier. You will be asked to take a photo of your selected government ID. And after you accomplish that, it will ask you to take a selfie for further verification, so make sure you follow the instructions accordingly. Once you're finished taking the selfie, wait a moment as it is collecting all the information needed to set up your account after which you should receive a confirmation message that part two is finally complete. Next, you will then be asked to provide your gender, marital status, Philippine address, and your work details such as your employer's name, source of income, job title, and nature of your business. You'll be presented with different options based on what you select on the drop-down list. And after all that's done, you will be brought to a review page where you can confirm if everything is correct. Finally, after confirming all the details provided, you will be able to nominate your own unique username and password. Unfortunately, this is as far as I can take you as I actually already am a BPI user. But more or less, that's pretty much all it takes for you to open your own digital account. The final and most important step though is to fund your account within 7 days as it may automatically close if no deposit is made within that time frame. You may deposit cash in BPI Cash Accept machines or at branches nationwide. You may also transfer money to your new digital account via Instapay or PesoNet. And also, just take note that as of now, only a Peso Savings account is offered to new clients under the new to bank feature. It is good to note though that once you've passed the post verification process and become fully verified, you will be allowed to open additional deposit accounts online. So at least there's that. The transition from traditional banking can be tough for some people, but with BPI's continuous efforts on making digital banking more accessible and convenient, opening an account has never been easier. 
So whether you're an existing BPI user or are interested in becoming one, jumpstarting your path to healthy financial habits is just a tap away. But that's all we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you guys don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Josh. Stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one.